comes in here. It's greased. Um, it's greased, it's washed, it's lubed up, so just a few little knickknack stuff to do to it before we're ready to head to the field. Um, work on the cab, adjust some belts and a couple chains and whatnot, but I think my uncle's going to try to wax it too. He was back here trying to buff on it. Uh, but we're not in any real hurry. I mean, he pulled this yesterday off this 40 acre farm right next to me so the corn should be pretty good uh, beans are gonna be yeah they're gonna be hit or miss but uh, he's gotta get an air filter for it get an air filter for it I don't even think we put I swear I don't even think we put a hundred hours on it looking at the monitor a while ago because last year we did it at 2814 i swear i don't even have 2900 hours on it i didn't oh, yeah. okay anyway so like i said we're we're slowly getting ready i mean we're not we're not jumping the gun like the rest of these people i mean i've heard anywhere from I've heard corn moisture anywhere from 13 to 27 percent that people are running and um, yields from anywhere from 150 to 220 I think it's the most I've heard so there's been a there's been a, quite quite a few bean run uh, and they're kind of the same way, anywhere from 50 to 72, I think's the highest I've heard. And the moisture's hit or miss on them. Which our beans are still, I mean, they've got some dead spots. Well, I'll show you when we pass by it right here. But uh, there's some spots in it that's ready to run, but there's spots that are still green. I mean, granted, I think they died prematurely and some of them are still trying to hold on to uh, every last second like down through that bottom right there but, but like I said I mean they're not they're nowhere near ready to run I mean corn my uncle told me a week to ten days we're running corn we're going, I don't know, we may go to the share crop farm and he said we'll, pro we'll probably shell that and because it goes straight on a truck. It don't go in a bin or nothing. Once it gets dried down good enough and then we'll move back and uh, the next corn that would run would be, there's a 27 acre field or farm that was planted the very first day and then we went to that share crop farm but that would run and then this 40 acres right here would run and that was all the corn all the beans were up at the chair crop farm this 12 acre field and a five acre field across the road well kind of in behind me um those were the early beans and those would be the earliest run to run i mean it's not in any hurry no need to rush it. I mean, we're not we're not playing a racing game here. I mean, there's a few rain chances next week, but really it needs to rain to bring some moisture back in the ground and into the crop. I mean, so whatever. I mean, that's just what's going on here. We're peddling the combine. We'll start getting it fully ready to go, and then I'm still hauling out corn to the work uh, southern states, and we're getting about mm, this week won't be like that but we have been getting right at a thousand bushel a week for the last month or so so i pulled a load today and i doubt i'll get a second loaded this week but anyway that's what's going on here but we'll uh we'll come back at you when we got something else going on